All right, March 20th, task nine. Um, <clears throat> we read on earth and the vocabulary words, we were just reviewing some of the same ones from days one through seven. So again, if you want to have those written down and be reviewing those, There were no new words yesterday or today, <clears throat> but we will have new words on Monday. So with the read aloud on earth, there are some questions that you can ask your child during the video watch. So um, the page numbers were not in the book, so you may have to kind of read the response um, the exemplar response to see maybe what they were referring to. Um, the page is talking about day and night and the difference in that. You can ask your child, what patterns does this page show? What causes this pattern? Why is it a pattern that we can predict for pages 9 and 10? Pages 13 and 14, why, what pattern does this page and the previous one talk about? And pages 15 and 16, how does this page help us understand that Earth's revolution is a pattern? And then pages 21 through 22, what pattern does this section of pages show? What causes this pattern? Why is it a pattern that we can predict? So that was the one talking about seasons. So just some questions that you can ask while you're reading these stories. Task number nine. So for task number nine, it seems very lengthy, but really what it's wanting your child to do is make a brochure. So some leaders in your community are planning a summer science camp for kids. One of the topics that kids will learn about at camp is earth and space science. The camp leaders want you to create a brochure that they can share with kids at camp that explains one, observable patterns in day and night sky, and two, the seasons that impact earth. Use illustrations and descriptions to explain these observable patterns. So your brochure should include a front cover that illustrates and names the topic of the brochure, a section that illustrates and describes the patterns for day and night and explains why we observe those patterns, a section that illustrates and describes the pattern of Earth's seasons and explains why changes in seasons occur. Be sure to use details from the text that we have read and use vocabulary words um, from the sheet that I just showed you, days one through seven. After they complete that, um, present it to instead of another student partner just have them present it to you and give them feedback on that brochure so for task nine this is what you're going to see this is the only thing you're going to see in your packet if you flip it over that's task 10. so in that packet if they need to use this bottom space to plan out the day and night and season information they can or they can just get started on their brochure so for a brochure, you can take just a computer piece of paper or notebook piece of paper, anything that you have, and just fold it into three parts and fold it over like a brochure. They have done this multiple times before, so they should know what a brochure is and what that should look like. So the example of my brochure has the title Patterns in Day and Night and the Seasons. And then I added an illustration and my name on the front cover showing that earth resolve, revolves around the sun and earth rotates and labeling the sun and the earth. When you open it up um, on this page this is um, an illustration showing that earth when it is tilted toward the sun we have more sunshine more warmth than we have summer. Um, then when it is tilted away from the sun then you have less sunshine, less warmth, and we have winter. So it's showing how that is ro uh, revolving around the sun and what is happening when those tilts and placements happen. So this is 
um, just one illustration showing how we have seasons. Then when you open it up all the way, so I put my two illustrations in the middle. So one of them is pointing over here, giving the day and night illustration and information. And then below, this is the seasons illustration and information. So an example of what that might look like, day and night, you're showing the sun hitting the earth and showing on one side you have day, the other half that is not toward the sun has nighttime. Label the sun and the earth. <clears throat> they might write something along the lines of, the earth has day and night. This is a pattern. The earth rotates or spins on its axis. As it spins, part of the earth faces the sun. It is daytime. The part of the earth facing away from the sun has nighttime. As the earth keeps spinning, the part with day turns to night and the part with night turns to day. So that's how we have the pattern of day and night. Then for the seasons, the earth actually revolves around the sun and that's what causes our season. So this is a little less detailed, but this is my more detailed season illustration. So for seasons, the earth revolves around the sun. The earth is tilted. That means it is leaning. When the earth tilts away from the sun, the northern hemisphere gets less sunshine. It is colder and darker. This is the winter season. As the earth circles the sun, the amount of sunlight slowly changes. The northern hemisphere gets more sunshine when the earth tilts toward the sun. It is summer. These days are longer and warmer. So they're just pulling in all the information that they have learned. They can add more on the back if they want, um, but if they have met all of these requirements, then just those three or four inside panels are fine. Um, but if you have any questions or need any further help or explanation, feel free to ask. Um, and this task is getting them ready for their end of unit task. So this is very important that they kind of put their thoughts down on paper and kind of get that feel for the brochure and how they would explain those different patterns in day and night and the seasons. If you all need any help at all, please reach out and let me know. I'm here, but just enjoy this time together making this brochure and talking about all that they have learned um, so far with the sun and earth.